The battle around the eastern town of Solidar is intense. With claims and counterclaims over exactly who is now in control here. In truth, we still don't really know. What is horribly clear, though, is that there is very little of this town left. Ukrainian drone footage showing most of the neighbourhoods here have been obliterated. It's against this backdrop that British aid workers Andrew Bagshaw and Christopher Parry disappeared in recent days. And now Russian mercenaries, the Wagner Group, claim to have recovered the body of one of the men in the area. There's no independent verification of this, or indeed whether it is one of the missing volunteers. So, Merry Christmas. Over recent months, Christopher Parry has documented his work in helping evacuate and provide aid for the area's elderly and infirm. The Foreign Office said it was aware of the reports and is supporting the families of both men while they await more information. The Wagner Group is spearheading the operation to try to take control of Solidar. Other Ukrainian drone footage shows what are believed to be Wagner fighters attempting to advance while clearly coming under fire. Russia is desperate to prevail here after many weeks in which Ukrainian counter-offensives seem to have made all the key gains. With Moscow determined to regain momentum, Russia's top general in Ukraine has been replaced. Just three months after Sergei Zurovkin on the left here took charge, he's now been replaced by the man on the right, Chief of the General Staff, Valery Gerasimov. Many analysts believe the move isn't just indicative of the need for a change of military strategy on the ground, but points to a degree of political infighting in Moscow. Throughout Ukraine, many communities are continuing to come under heavy Russian bombardment. Here in the southern city of Kherson, images show a maternity hospital which was struck, causing a number of injuries, according to Ukrainian officials. And in the months ahead, the fighting across this battered nation will only intensify as both Ukraine and Russia prepare for spring offensives. Mark White, GB News.